Uh, I rise today to commend the sponsor of this legislation, Assemblymember Brennan. Uh, I'm very happy to be a co-sponsor of this legislation. I believe it is something that is much needed. Uh, as someone who represents the communities of Staten Island and Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, Staten Island in particular, which is surrounded by three Port Authority bridges, all of which have just been um, increased to a point where it's expected to be $15 by 2015. I think that this legislation, this accountability, this transparency is very much needed for the people in our community to see exactly where their toll paying money is going. Um, when just had an audit not too long ago from the Port Authority showed that they're spending money like crazy on things like overtime, uh, excessive service contracts, uh, the construction of the World Trade Center site. Um, and the toll increases are not only affecting my community, but the state as a whole. And when you look at our community, we have a wonderful uh, zoo, great theater, wonderful restaurants. We can't get anybody from New Jersey to come to Staten Island to visit us because no one wants to pay $15 to get over the bridge. Um, so when we talk about New York is best and New York is uh, economically viable when all parts of New York are strong, that includes Staten Island, New York. So we need to look at the Port Authority, where exactly they're spending this money. Today I just got a call from my local newspaper, the Staten Island Advance, telling me that they filed a FOIL request with the Port Authority on a recent study that they did, an economic impact study locally for Staten Island. They were denied their FOIL request. How are we allowing this to happen? It really is disgraceful. Um, we're at possibly going to lose 500 great paying jobs on Staten Island, six figure jobs on Staten Island if our container terminal closes because of the impact of these high rising tolls. And that's something that's not only going to affect my community that I represent, but this entire state and our local region surrounding New York City. So for that, I'm voting in the affirmative. I urge everyone to do the same because it's time to bring real transparency and accountability to the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Thank you.